just don't understand. Why use such advanced technology against innocent civilians? Because they're jerks, that's why. Let's dissect the chrysalid and see what's going on. Cursory examination of the creature reveals that it is similar in structure to several insect species found on Earth. Ah. Although covered in an incredibly hard exoskeleton, the six appendages of this alien are nevertheless exceedingly light and flexible. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Can we still punch him in the face? Ah, our chrysalid autopsy is complete. I don't want to go into that uh, base until I am prepared. Uh, at least get more armor, because I'm assuming there's going to be some crazy stuff in there. Anyway, let's assign new research. Codename Ridley. Cool. Chit, chit, chitin? Yeah. Chitin plating <laughs> available for manufacture. Well, that sounds promising. Even after years of research and study, until now I had never encountered something this that is quite as beautiful, yet equally as deadly as a species. Unlike the other aliens we've encountered thus far, it is Arthropodel in nature, plated in a sleek black exoskeleton. The chrysalids, as we're calling them, based on their reproductive habits, measure over three meters long from nose to tail and stand almost two meters high when perched on their hind legs. Their attack is not only extremely deadly, but also necessary for their reproduction. What? As the intended victim is not immediately killed, but instead turned into what can only be described as a mindless shell, akin to a zombie, which serves as a host to its offspring. Uh, 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 <laughs> when a human is bitten, uh, I'm okay. This is blowing my mind right now. When a human is bitten, an embryo is injected into the host and immediately begins to gestate. Once gestation is complete, which remarkably lasts only minutes, a new chrysalid, newborn chrysalid, will emerge, destroying its host in the process. One can only wonder why the aliens would utilize what appears to be a savage, unpredictable creature. In any case, this is certainly not a creature to be traveled with, and our troops would do well to exercise extreme caution. When engaging this species. Target another example in the field through the unit analysis view may provide additional information as to its combat capabilities. Uh, so don't let it touch you, <laughs> apparently is what I learned from there. You turn into a zombie. Chitin plating, light plating made from the chrysalid exoskeleton, the material provides additional protection and significant reduction to melee damage sustained. Uh, okay, we want to go for precision lasers. It can increase the range and power of our own laser weapons. Gonna get serious now. All right, I don't have any money. Spent it all on those darn satellites. Okay, so let's continue scanning. Request from South Africa: weapon fragments. And storage 84 fragments. They only need 9. And we'll get 56 buckaroos in the process. South African engineers have been clamoring to get their hands on some of the alien weapon technology. If they can piece together the fragmented weapons we have, they might be able to make something that help protect their people. Cool. Happy to oblige. Achievement get. <laughs> Let's keep on scanning. Commander, we've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. All right, well, let's scramble our interceptors. And use the Phoenix Cannon equipped Raven 1. Get that UFO. Protect Bangs Canada. Out. Closing on target. Getting hit hard. Okay, good. I was about to abort. Shot down the UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. Our interceptor sustained heavy damage in the encounter. 
Sending that Sky Ranger. Looks like our A team is intact here. Air Bay has been rested. Let's send him in. Prepare for deployment, Strike One. Let's not help out that big UFO on the ground. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear.